Tesla is the poster child for EVs in America, then the industry is currently seeing some warning signs. Shares of Elon Musk's company have lost more than a quarter of their value so far this year. Just this week, they're down more than 10 percent. Joining us right now to talk about Tesla and what it seems to be what seems to be flagging interest overall. Is the dream of an all-electric future crashing before our eyes? A stunning new report reveals the electric vehicle, EV market, is facing a massive downturn, with Tesla's stock plunging and billions of dollars lost. As car manufacturers struggle to sell EVs, we're uncovering the real reasons behind the market's nosedive. From hidden agendas to unexpected safety concerns, buckle up as we dive into the shocking realities of the EV revolution, challenging everything we thought we knew about the road to a greener future. A recent EV report has just dropped a bombshell, revealing a massive downturn in the EV market. Car manufacturers seem to be hitting a wall trying to sell EVs, bleeding billions in the process. This report is sounding the alarm loud and clear that EVs might not be the golden ticket we were all led to believe. But what exactly sparked this unprecedented crash? Is the reason technological, economic, or something more surprising? Hold on to your seats because the reasons are more startling than you'd expect. This new report has pinpointed three critical flaws in EVs that have sent Tesla's stock tumbling down a cliff, erasing a staggering $80 billion in value in just one week. You heard that right, $80 billion gone in the blink of an eye. Could there be hidden agendas behind the EV push? And how safe are these vehicles really? But this isn't just about the numbers. There's a brewing storm of controversy surrounding the political push and the real agenda behind the mass adoption of EVs. Is there something our leaders aren't telling us? Is the whole EV movement a facade? It's time to dive deeper. Our story kicks off in mid-2023 when it looked like the EV market was finally gaining momentum. More brands were jumping on the EV bandwagon, rolling out new models left and right. But then, the unthinkable happened. Longtime EV owners started coming forward with horror stories about their experiences, painting a grim picture of what it's really like to own an EV. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, Consumer Reports released a bombshell report exposing major safety concerns with EVs, including big names like Tesla. This report isn't pulling any punches, showing evidence that EVs might not be as safe as we were led to believe. But how did these economic giants get so wrong? What warning signs did everyone miss? Despite the government's best efforts to sweeten the deal with a $7,500 tax credit, it seems like consumers aren't buying the hype. The titans of the car industry, Ford and General Motors, GM, are feeling the heat. Ford's EV division is hemorrhaging money, with losses topping a billion dollars in just one quarter. And they're pumping the brakes on EV investments in an unexpected turn. GM isn't coping much better with their EV projects, slicing their profits like a hot knife through butter. Then there's California, the beacon of the EV revolution, with its bold promise to phase out gasoline cars by 2035. But Tesla, the crown jewel of the EV world, saw its sales in California plummet by 10% in the last quarter of 2023. This is a big deal. Tesla has been the face of the EV movement, and California is its stronghold. So what gives? But what's the real cost of owning an EV? And are the government incentives enough to sway consumers? Several factors are muddying the waters. Public EV charging stations are turning into a bit of a nightmare. What's the price tag on these modern marvels? Astronomical, government incentives, confusing at best. And then there's Elon Musk, Tesla's fearless leader, whose off-the-cuff remarks might do more harm than good. His latest bombshell was predicting China's dominance over the U.S. market. But let's not get sidetracked. Let's zero in on the sales figures. Ford and GM's EV divisions lost a combined $5 billion in a single year, translating to a $36,000 loss on each EV sold. Meanwhile, Tesla managed to stay in the black, but only after slashing prices seven times in one year, just to keep up with the competition and remain relevant. With costs spiraling, sales slumping, and consumer confidence wavering, the dream of an electric future is starting to look more like a mirage. So why aren't consumers rushing to buy EVs? 
the answer might not be what you think. Let's get down to brass tacks. People are actually keen on electric vehicles, as long as buying one doesn't mean breaking the bank. But the Biden administration is currently relying on China for about 80% of our EV supplies. Now, cast your mind back to the start of 2023. EV sales were skyrocketing, shooting up like there was no tomorrow. Then, as if someone hit the brakes hard, sales plummeted. It was as if overnight EVs lost their cool factor. To add insult to injury, bank interest rates climbed, making these electric dreams even less attainable. Suddenly, hybrids and the trusty old gas-powered vehicles started looking pretty good again. Even the big names in the auto world are hedging their bets elsewhere. Take Toyota's head honcho, for instance, who's all in on hybrids and hydrogen fuel cars over EVs. And it's not just an American phenomenon. Over in Germany, despite the EU's looming ban on gas-powered cars post-2035, EV sales are on the decline. In a surprising twist, big car companies like Ford, Toyota, GM, and even Tesla are slowing down their push into electric vehicles, EVs. Tesla had big plans for a new factory in Mexico, but had to think again. GM stopped work on their electric pickups and even stopped making the Chevy Bolt, which was their cheapest EV. Ford decided not to make more of their electric F-150 trucks because not enough people were buying it. Trying to get longtime fans of the F-150 to switch to electric seems as hard as getting someone who loves steak to suddenly go vegan. There's more to the electric vehicle EV problem than just their high prices. Owners face a range of issues, like worrying about how far they can drive before running out of power, dealing with software that doesn't always work right, and finding it hard to locate places to charge up. It's like having a phone, but no way to charge it, a real problem for anyone thinking about getting an EV. At first, lots of people were excited about EVs, thanks partly to government offers and rules encouraging people to buy them. But now, as these deals and incentives are getting less generous, people's interest in EVs is cooling off. This is clear in countries like Germany and France, where cutting back on EV benefits has led to fewer people buying them. In the U.S., not as many EV models are getting the special tax breaks they used to, which makes them less attractive to buyers. But what's it like to live with an EV day to day? We're peeling back the curtain on the not-so-glamorous reality. Imagine you're all in on the sleek, silent electric vehicles, EVs, thinking they're the way of the future. But suddenly a bombshell report hits. These modern marvels are actually more of a headache than old-school gas cars. 80% of EV owners surveyed from a pool of 330,000 vehicles are saying no thanks to buying another one, citing everything from engine issues to malfunctioning electric motors, leaks, and those annoying infotainment systems that just don't listen. The report lays the blame at the feet of two main groups. First, the traditional car makers, who are stumbling around with EV tech like they're new to the game. Then, there are the actual newcomers, like Rivian, who are still figuring out the basics of car manufacturing. It's like everyone's groping in the dark trying to solve the electric puzzle without missing any pieces. And what's at the top of the list of problems? Electric drive motors, charging issues, and the core of it all, the EV batteries. But here's the twist. The trouble with charging isn't about finding a public charger. It's about the cars themselves having a meltdown when it's time to recharge. EVs are acting up, especially in winter, refusing to charge or losing battery life up to 40% faster because of these glitches. As a result, EVs are shedding their resale value at a speed unmatched by any other car type. For example, a Tesla Model X could drop $21,000 in value in just a year, a fact shockingly confirmed by Tesla's own app. But are EVs really the eco-heroes we've been waiting for? Or is there a darker side to this green revolution? It looks like electric vehicles, EVs, might not be the eco-heroes we thought they were. They use a lot of electricity, which often comes from not-so-green sources, and they're really into rare earth minerals. Getting these minerals out of the ground is bad news for the planet, plus recycling their advanced batteries. That's a huge problem. It's nothing like tossing something in the trash. It's a complex challenge we're still trying to figure out. 
Amidst this unfolding drama, there's a cultural clash. Americans have a long-standing love affair with their gas guzzlers. Despite efforts by Ford and GM to electrify American icons like the F-150 Lightning and the Silverado EV, the public response has been lukewarm at best. Over 3,000 auto dealers are pushing back against the Biden administration's EV push with many refusing even to display EVs in their showrooms, a stark testament to the demand, or lack thereof. To add insult to injury, insuring an EV has become a financial minefield. Premiums could soar to $6,000 a year, driven by the sky-high costs of repairing or replacing parts. And then there are the batteries, potential ticking time bombs that have insurance companies stepping back with trepidation. Another problem is the EV fires. These aren't your average car fires. They're a nightmare to extinguish. Picture a single battery cell overheating, triggering a chain reaction. Before you know it, you've got a full-blown inferno on your hands. Firefighters are forced to battle these blazes for hours, sometimes days, because the fire just refuses to die, rekindling like a horror movie villain. The cause? High-profile incidents involving Teslas and Chevy Bolts have led to massive recalls, highlighting the danger and adding a hefty cost to the industry. But the EV market's big bad wolf might just be its reliance on overseas materials. With 80% of our EV supplies coming from China, a recent export ban threatens to send American EV costs skyrocketing. This could be the setup for a market crash of epic proportions. Now. Let's zoom out and look at the bigger picture. The government's push for a cleaner EV-dominated future is noble, but it's clashing with reality. Costs are ballooning, supply chains are strained, and reliance on international resources is risky. Giants in the auto world like Ford and GM are hitting the pause button on EVs, signaling a potentially premature rush toward electrification. Insurance nightmares are the cherry on the top, with premiums potentially hitting $6,000 a year due to the high cost of repairs and the ticking time bomb that is EV batteries. Insurers are getting cold feet. But despite the dream of a cleaner, EV-driven future, we're hitting some serious roadblocks. Costs, complex supply chains, and a stubborn attachment to gasoline cars are throwing spanners in the works. While some policymakers are still betting big on EVs, the industry and consumers are caught in a tug of war between vision and viability. So, has the EV bubble already burst? That's the million dollar question. If you like this video, check out this new video about this battery will shake the entire EV industry.